The reintroduction of turnover tax where businesses whose income does not exceed 5 million shillings are to pay 3% on gross sales was not well received by those in the informal sector when it came into force last month. In terms of sustainability, the main issue here is, is this process we have put in place, the system we have put in place, simple enough for that taxpayer down there to comply without seeking for support from somebody. Critics said the tax would frustrate small businesses and increase the cost of doing business. So far, over half a million businesses have registered for turnover tax, with KRA training its eyes on more registrations from small businesses. The target in terms of numbers, yeah, as I've said, we have netted uh, just above 500,000 and our target for the month was um, 1 million. So I hope we are going to achieve that because I've seen since morning very many taxpayers are coming up and uh, going to our service stations for uh, support. KRA requires businesses to file the turnover tax on or before the 20th of the following month. At the end of the day, if a taxpayer is satisfied, they pay without complaining. And when they pay voluntarily, revenue also grows. Even though Kerry says no penalties will be meted on defaulters during the transition period, late payment will attract a 5% penalty, whereas late filing will attract a 5,000 shillings penalty per month. Kerry plans to roll out a USDD number that will enable taxpayers file their returns using their mobile phones. So it's undergoing testing now. Yeah. So we are going to release it and it, 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 let me tell you it is going to make it very simple for our taxpayers to pay because it will be just a number, hash, then you pay here. Yeah. The Kenya Revenue Authority aims to raise an additional 25 billion shillings this financial year under the tax widening strategy. The reintroduction of a turnover tax through the Finance Bill 2019 was met with a lot of resistance with the narrative that it would cripple businesses. Now as the curtains falls on the turnover, turnover tax deadline today, the taxman has assured that no penalties would be placed on would-be defaulters, saying that there is need for compliance for Kenya to prosper. Regina Manyara Gitao reporting for Channel One Business.